Ray is saying, how do you pick companies? You often say that we have to choose companies that people will like in the future. But how do you find them? Yeah, no, no, thanks for that. And so and what you're referring to is, is, a, is a quote I mentioned before uh, from my favorite athlete ever, which is Wayne Gretzky. Uh, and so Wayne Gretzky, a great hockey player, he used to say that he wasn't successful because he skated to where the puck is. Rather, he skated to where the puck is going to be. And so you have to have the foresight as well to start companies that people are going to like or invest in companies that people are going to like. If you invest in a company that everybody already likes, then who's the incremental uh, investor to push that stock higher, so to speak? You, know, you, you gotta be greedy when others are fearful and fearful when others are greedy. Of course, that's a wonderful quote from the sage of Omaha, Warren Buffett. Yeah. But w when I look at companies, I, I, I look at three things in this order. I look at fundamentals, then I look at valuation, and the very last thing I look at is technicals, okay? And I only look at technical analysis because I like to buy companies that, that are massively oversold from a relative strength index perspective. I like to buy broken stocks, but not broken companies. And if you buy what everyone else is buying, again, who's the incremental investor to push it higher? And I love to think very, very long-term. And I create my own financial models and I value companies based on my earnings estimates in five or 10 years. And so people might say, Chris, you're crazy to buy that stock. It's over a hundred times earnings. And my response is no, it's actually three times my earnings estimate in five or 10 years. You just gotta be long-term focused um, and, and don't be a tourist. Like don't rent stocks, you know, and be in it for the long run and do your own research. Never rely on anybody, including me, to tell you what to buy or not buy. Do your own research. Uh, and, and don't think that people on television that speak gooder than some of us um, are, are, are better investors. They're not. They're not. And every time somebody's interviewed on television, you have to understand there's a bias. So if a CEO is being interviewed, they're trying to get you to buy their stock. You know, they're not unethical. They're just great salespeople. And the same thing with mutual fund portfolio managers when they're being interviewed. And a lot of times they'll even disclose they own the stock, but just be careful. Like I want you to do your own research always because as Steve Jobs said, no one is smarter than you. And I believe that quote so sincerely in my heart. They actually licensed a Steve Jobs video um, from a guy that made a documentary uh, on, on Steve Jobs um, called No One is Smarter Than You. And go to my YouTube page and just do a search for Steve Jobs and you'll, you'll see that video. And if you want to learn more about how to pick companies, um, you can take my complete financial analyst course uh, on Udemy, or you can sign up for my MBA degree program. I go into heck a lot more detail on it as well.